Hello and welcome to my lab. These are my flies. They're here hanging out with me today, being my only companions in my lab. So I'm here to flip some flies, keep them alive, make sure that everything stays good. And I'll show you about my lab in a bit after I flip these guys and make sure that they're still surviving and thriving. Uh, some of them have mold growing in the bottom, so I've got to take care of that. Um, so I'll do that first and I'll take a, another um, time lapse of me doing all of that so you guys don't have to sit and watch me flip vials for hours. But first I'll show you how I do it in general. So we have fly vials here, food here take the funnel, put it in the vial, take a food, put it in there, and then you take water and you fill up this little cap, and then you wet the food and let it all absorb and then um, put cotton on the top, and then once you put cotton in there, um, you can put flies in the vial. Um, but I'm gonna make these guys um, go to sleep before I put them in the vial, because I'm not really good at fly flipping. Like, you can, in theory, just take the cotton off and do that, but I'm not very good at that. So, um, that's what I'm gonna do for all of these vials of flies. Flip them all, make sure that they're all ready to go and none of them are moldy or dead. Yeah. So I will time lapse that so you don't have to watch me do this for a thousand years. All right, see you guys in a second when I show you the rest of my lab. So now I'm over by my station, which includes this beautiful microscope my fly pad, um, my microscope light, which is this, and um, a fly morgue for killing off flies I don't need, which I will not be doing today. Um, I will just be flipping them, uh, making sure they stay alive. So I've labeled all of my vials with the code for each stock of flies, and I'm gonna flip them, um, put them in a new vial so that they can have more babies and that the babies that are already in those vials will close and have more flies and basically increase the number of flies that I have in each stock. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, it's not super exciting so I'm also going to fast motion that after I show the first one. So what you want to do is you turn your fly pad on and you tap to get all the flies to the bottom of the vial. They're a little bit uncooperative today. You tap them onto the fly pad like so. Then when all of them are on the fly pad, take your new vial, because now they're all, some of them are freaking out a little bit, but they're all asleep on there. Um, Oops, sorry, my camera skills are not the best um, with my phone, so I apologize in advance. Normally I just hold it, um, and then you just use a little paintbrush, swipe them in there, and they're asleep, so they won't wake up for a second or two, and that'll just give you enough time to swipe them in so that they have a new home to live in, which is nice for them. Now they're all in there, they're all asleep at the bottom of the vial, but they'll wake up really quickly because they weren't on the fly pad for too long. And then they'll have more babies and then I'll propagate the stock. So I'm going to do that a bunch more times and then I'll meet you guys outside of the lab in the microscope room and show you what that looks like. See you in a second. Well, every so often our CO2 tank gets cold, so we have to turn it off. So that's where I'm, I'm I have to flip three stalks. 
um, left, but while that's waiting to, to relax a little bit, I'll show you my um, other space of work, which is over here. a dark little closet basically in this room I don't have a slide to show that might have been smart but we have a computer and a microscope and the microscope is connected to the computer and we can look really close closer than we can with the microscopes that are in the lab and that lets us look at slides of things that were dissected so that's pretty much what this room is for sometimes we use fluorescence microscopy sometimes we're just using phase contrast but that's what this little hidey hole is for and there's really nothing else in this room it's just a microscope a computer and a light switch so that's super exciting to see but i'm gonna head back in hope my co2 is ready flip the rest of my flies and then I will hit you guys back, um, probably outside the lab, to just talk a little bit about, um, I don't know what I do here. So, yeah, see you in a second. So yeah, today is obviously not a super intense lab day. I'm just flipping flies. I don't really have anything super special to do. So I'm sorry if this video is short. I don't know how long it will be because I did a bunch of time lapses and took a bunch of two minute segments. But um, I wanted to show you lab while I could because no one's here so no one would think it was weird if I was filming um, what I was doing. And yeah, so this is what my lab is like. and. This is what it looks like, and this is where I go every day to do stuff, so very exciting. Um, just gonna stay here and flip more flies and then do a little bit of reading um, before I go for the day since it's it's kind of a chill day. I don't really have much going on, so um, I might film later. Probably not, though, just because um, I did this. This is kind of fun and exciting and not like... A boring vlog even if it is kind of short um, so you got to come to lab with me today uh, do a little bit of stuff and see what I how I flip flies and what I was talking about when I said fly vials and all that stuff and where I come every day and my microscope and all the things that I do so this is where I normally dissect but I'm not gonna do a dissection today because I don't have any reason to so sorry you didn't get to see a dissection but you win some, you lose some. So, um, thanks for coming to lab with me. I will see you guys tomorrow uh, in a really exciting video where I take out my contacts for you. Not really, because people get creeped out by eye stuff. But um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.